This evening, we're sharing more of our one-on-one -on -one interview with Michael Morton. He spent 25 years in prison for the murder of his wife before DNA evidence proved last fall that he was not the killer. Morton sat down with our Shannon Wilson to talk about life after prison. My bad days are good. Things are real nice right now. What have you been doing? I'm living back up in East Texas right now. And it gives me a little bit of a sanctuary where nobody knows me and I can be normal. I'm a 57-year-old guy who's not unlike the 18-year-old um, kid going off to college. I don't have anything, so uh, I have to buy a couch. I have to buy, you know, a refrigerator. I have to buy a bed, you know. <laughs> so it's kind of neat. Um, everything's going to be um, brand new. What are the things that stand out to you in the last six months? The thing that sticks out to me most these last six months um, is the quality of the people I'm around. There was a man down in Houston. He gave me a Chevy Tahoe. I heard that. Yeah. And uh, there's a man who just got out of prison, got exonerated, named Ricky Wyatt. And uh, today he's driving that Chevy Tahoe. I told him if he can, pass it on when he can. Tell me about reuniting with your son. Uh, my son and I, we had a real quick handshake. It morphed into a hug, and that was, you know, it was nice. But I looked down, and I, I noticed that while they weren't identical, our shoes were very, very similar. So, well, you know, coincidence. And then he went up a little bit higher, and his, our pants were, we were both wearing newish blue jeans, you know. And, and I looked it up a little higher in his shirt, and uh, they weren't the same, but they were the same style and a very similar cut. You said you didn't really get to grieve for Chris. Do you grieve for the 25 years he lost? No. Let me qualify that. I, 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 I didn't like losing my son. Um, however, my, um, my return my spiritual return, the, the, the man I am today, is because of that. And I like where I am now. Obviously, Michael Morton, a very spiritual man, he credits his faith with carrying him through all of this, although he says adamantly that he is not what he calls a penitentiary Christian. Instead, he calls himself the prodigal son who returned. Tonight at 6, we are getting serious with Michael about his time in prison, what he thinks about the justice system that put him there, and exactly how he's trying to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else.